the fourth issue of the Italian magazine Zodiac, Eros Arinen wrote The site of the Milwaukee County War Memorial Center is a bridgehead extending beyond a 40-foot bluff. The building was supposed to be a monument in its own right, but also to act as a gateway to the park which extends below the bluff down to Lake Michigan and to act as a transition between the city and the lakeside park. The building, fulfilling its program, consists of three parts. One is the base, which builds the mass up to the city level and contains an art museum. The second, on the city level, is the memorial court, a court with a pool around which the names of the war dead are inscribed surrounded by the polyhedron-shaped piers which support the building and also make frames of the breathtaking views of lake and sky. And the third, the superstructure, cantilevered outward 30 feet in three directions, which contains the meeting halls and offices of the veterans' organization. The vertical and horizontal structure form box-like rectangles, open on walls of this cantilevered superstructure to the outer side. One of the greatest challenges was to create a building comparatively small in size on a comparatively small site, which would assert itself as an important building, would proclaim itself as a monumental building which could hold its own against the vast panorama of lake and sky. I think we succeeded in achieving this monumental and affirmative and assertive quality by making a concrete building with boldly dramatic cantilevers which is always and in all its part and in every aspect of its structure a wholly concrete building. It is a concrete structure where the structure is contained within its box kite-like shape. It differs from any vaulted or plastic form concrete, but it is a structure where every plane, whether vertical or horizontal, is a working part of the total structure. The building and finishes are rough. It is not a refined building, nor is any part of it hesitant or reticent. It depends for its monumentality and assertiveness on the clarity of its structure, on its guts and its simplicity. From the beginning we had thought of the concrete wall and panels within the box-like rectangle of the front elevation being covered with some smooth, shiny material, so that this non-structural wall would contrast both in texture and color with the structural concrete frame and walls and would be an element of particular beauty. We thought of this as an enriching surface, primarily monochromatic in tone, which would neither complete nor dominate the structural expression which is the strong agent that gives the building its primary dignity and monumentality. We are pleased that work is now in progress for such a mosaic for these screen walls. <laughs>